It's not too rare, but in general, snow doesn't stay long in Seoul, uh, unfortunately. And uh, the chance to see the beautiful, uh, you know, top attraction like Songdimun Gate and like Gyeongbokgung Palace and Doksugung Palace are very minimal with snow. So today I'm going to try to explore as much as I can. Even though the snow is not too much, but still I think it's going to be enough for you to give you an idea how beautiful city of Seoul is when there is snow. I'm in Guangdongmu, it's super snowy and I like it. It's quite rare to experience snow in Korea these days in Seoul. So I'm super happy about it. It's amazing. <laughs> There's almost nobody on the street because of the coronavirus. And, uh, yeah, let's see what's the situation in the palace. I will put my mask over there. Gwangamun Square stretches out from Gwangamun Gate, the main gate of Gyeongbokgung Palace, and was once connecting the six ministries of Joseon Kingdom. The statue of Admiral Yi Sunshin, a naval commander renowned for his victories over the Japanese invasion, stands proud at the square. In the middle, a statue of King Sejong the Great, creator of the Hango. Korea's alphabet. Gwangamun Gate that gave the name of the square in front of it is the main gate of Gyeongbokgung Palace, the biggest of Seoul's royal palaces. So last night and it's minus 20 right now. Feels like minus 20. It's actually minus 30. But I'm in Gyeokbokgung Palace with Teresa. My Teresa. Hi guys. Hi. 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 And yeah, we're gonna tour around and see the frozen lake and hope we're gonna, you know, um, have some reason to justify this torture. Gyeongbokgung Palace was the main royal palace of Joseon dynasty. It's the largest of all five palaces in Seoul. In the early 20th century, much of the palace was destroyed by Imperial Japan, but in recent years was restored to its former glory. It feels so weird to be the last visitor of the <laughs> palace. They're just like moving around with keys and it feels really interesting. But... Namdaemun Gate is one of the eight gates of the fortress wall of Seoul. In 2008, fire broke and fully destroyed Gate's wooden structure. The restoration took three years and costed over 14 million US dollars. Seoul City Hall is actually comprised of old and new building. The old building is home to Seoul Metropolitan Library. The green wall placed inside the spacious entree of the new building is the most famous attraction of City Hall. And as you can see, the area in front of it is covered with snow and somebody already have built a little small snowman. So let's explore around here. Walking around the uh, Doksogung Palace, 
and as you can see it's snowing a little bit it's so beautiful right now oh, i'm so happy snow usually is very rare in seoul because it's a bit hotter during the winter because of the you know it's like a big metropolitan area everybody is heating so snow doesn't snow uh, stay for long but yeah if you have like a chance you can have a glimpse of it Doksugung Palace is the latest palace used by the kings of Joseon dynasty. It's smaller than the rest of the royal palaces and incorporates two modern classical buildings and a fountain. Just behind me is the main hall of Tokso Gung Palace and I'm having a coffee and walking around. Priceless. You can buy coffee and also you can take on the late win with coffee, but you can also buy coffee. There's a really small coffee shop over here. Okay, this is one of the favorite places of tourists and locals and it's famous with so many things there's so much entertainment actually inside but it's also a very romantic place a lot of people come here for a date and uh, kids love it because there's so much for kids to do be more perfect than that look at this it's snowing right now and i'm in the palace and it's amazing my first time doing snow time in the palace chan dokung palace is my favorite of all joseon royal palaces it's the only of all palaces in seoul with unesco world heritage status It's so beautiful right now, there's not too many people which is perfect, so you can enjoy the scenery, it's super extra beautiful. I think I'm extremely lucky today to have this view with a little bit of snow and with sunshine and this is special area that's like a really beautiful pond. And just behind me is the King's Library and there is like a really nice pavilion where they used to uh, do the state exams. And as you know, in, in Joseon Dynasty, this is the only way for like a layman to enter the nobleman class and they're like um, kind of big divide between classes. So here the king is going to stay and they're going to do the ear exams and it's kind of a special place. And also during these times, this... Um, garden was not available for the masses so we are privileged right now to have access to it but only for the king his family and maybe some of his like closest uh, servants and uh, officers and it's a beautiful day right now so oh my god For me, this is one of the most beautiful spots in the Secret Garden. I have actually another favorite one, but this one I've never seen in the winter, so it's so magical. I really like it. Look at this pond and the beautiful buildings around there. It's so good. If you watch Korean drama, you might recognize this spot over here. It's quite famous, this pond, for the um, kingdom. 
series and one of the main uh, acts uh, have been filmed here. Another really cool pavilion with a small little beautiful pond. Look at this. It's so beautiful here. The only way to look around is to join a guided tour, so make sure to book in advance or at least early in the day. I'm at Hagang River and as you can see it's uh, frozen, it's uh, been a really cold couple of days and it's so rare to see it. Actually two days ago we experienced the coldest day in Seoul in 30 years so you can imagine it was like minus 18. Hagang River doesn't freeze often but when it does it's absolutely beautiful. The floating islands are multi-purpose floating buildings on Hangang River designed to host recreational activities. Hashtag sunset. Hashtag. Okay guys, look at the beautiful frozen Han River just behind me. And I'm here with Titi and a friend. Hey! Hey! hey, hey. And we're gonna explore Han River when it's frozen. And just behind us is Bampo Bridge. And right there you can see Namsan Tower. This beautiful tower that you all like to go visit when you first come to Seoul. At night, the floating islands are lit in colorful light and such a feast for the eyes. Olympic Park is a big recreational facility south of Hangang River. It was built to host 1988 Seoul Olympic Games and is home to the biggest sports arena in Seoul. So I'm here at Olympic Park and it's super beautiful. We just snowed a little bit. And it's not too much, but it's enough to show you how beautiful Seoul can be with snow. And just behind me is uh, Lotte World Tower. And I'm gonna do a little bit of walking around here and show you around. This tree is the landmark of uh, Olympic Park and it's so beautiful right now. It's snowing and it's amazing. As you can see, there are a lot of people taking photos and uh, it's quite a popular spot. As you can guess, Olympic Park was built for the Olympics in 1988, which was the year when the Olympics here in Seoul, the Summer Olympics were held. And since then, the city has developed so much. And as you know, like 20 years later, uh, 2018, there was like a Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. So that's the second time Korea uh, hosted Olympic Games. And yeah, especially this park was built for during the first Olympic Games. And uh, at the other end of the park, which I didn't go today, there were like uh, some of the facilities both facilities and there is another area with a lot of other facilities that are, are reminiscent from the Olympic Games. Okay, final destination is Lotte Tower with Sokchon Lake by sunset. It's so beautiful, even though freezing, as you can see, the lake is already frozen, but the amusement park is working actually, which is surprising. I don't know who's gonna be the crazy people who are gonna do this to their bodies in this cold, I don't know. Thank you.
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and also subscribe to my channel.